Hi everybody, Gene Summy here. We're going to produce a video today for our friends at Champion Windows to train their window installers. I'd like to cover a few items uh, that I think all window installers should be aware of. I think it's really important for you to specifically and consciously choose the strategy that you want to use. Choosing the products you want to use, at least the types of products you want to use. For instance, nail on flashing versus peel and stick flashing, what's called SAF flashing. Choose the specific sealant that you want to use. You know, we believe there's some sealants that are far better than other sealants. Uh, you, you want to have plenty of those supplies in your trucks at all times so that your installers don't have to run to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick something up with money out will probably be out of their pocket. They're going to buy something cheap. So make sure that you specifically choose the sealants that you want and make sure that plenty of those materials are in your trucks. When it comes to sealants, you want to use a sealant that does not say easy water cleanup on the tube. With only a couple of exceptions, that's a bad choice. And the reason is, if, there, if it says easy water cleanup, that means that the sealant is quite probably a got a water base to it, and when it dries, it will probably crack. If it says meets or exceeds ASTM C920 on the tube, then you're probably going to be in good shape. You're not going to see a lot of focus on level square and plumb. <clears throat> i got to believe that the installers watching these videos know that you have to level square and plumb a window. Uh, you're not going to see a lot of uh, training on how to use power tools. We're going to assume that the guys watching these videos, and the guys that are being, going to be in the field, understand the safe use of power tools. You might see some uh, of our guys in these videos in installing windows you know, without safety glasses on. Uh, you should always wear safety glasses. So, you know, correctly uh, keep yourself safe. I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. Just because you see my guys without a hard hat or without eye protection or putting their finger in sealant and tooling it under the window doesn't mean that, you know, that's necessarily the appropriate uh, way to install windows. You've got to be safe and you've got to understand how to be safe without me showing you how to be safe. So those assumptions are going to be made. Stay safe. Do the right thing. So anyway, here you go. Good luck. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, call us. First, why flashing corners are important. I'm going to show you a little mock-up here. We're concerned about this fish mouth. If you only have membrane, and no strength in this corner as a heavy 300-pound window goes to sit on this. We're worried about this area right here. Additionally, as the windows move side to side to get it uh, to plumb up and square up and set your reveals, we're worried that the heavy window can damage that bichethane or your peel and stick membrane that would be here. With a flashing corner in place, uh, we protect this area that's very vulnerable. This is a very strong piece of material that will protect against fish mouths and protect against uh, the abrasion that could happen when the windows move side to side. Also just the landing of the window into the rough opening, particularly if you're working off a of scaffolding. Uh, a heavy window lands into the rough opening and as it slid into place, the materials can get damaged and the flashing corners can go a long way uh, towards protecting you from that. Uh, call us anytime, shoot us an email anytime. Thank you very much for your support. Here is our flush mount wood framed rough opening and if you've watched any of our videos you recognize it first we're applying a bib so that building paper can be applied later now here's a large lightning flash XL corner if you have a wood window and you want a larger flashing corner consider this one here's the smaller lightning flash corner designed for aluminum and vinyl windows the corner simply staple in place on top of the bib and now we're going to apply our peel and stick, in this case Protecto Wrap waterproof membrane. You'll notice that Epi is J rollering his material onto the substrate and applying staples across the top edge. Next, he is going to use a razor knife and apply two vertical slices into his Protecto Wrap so that it will layer nicely onto the framing sill. And then again, he J rollers his material onto the Substrate. Now it's time for end dams. 
we simply cut two rectangular pieces of the protector wrap, layer them into place, put a very simple cut into the material, and fold the end dams into place. It's very easy. A nicely applied end dam will look just like this. And notice that at that lower corner, there's no seams in the material. After you or your guys have done this a few times, you'll find it's very simple, easy, and quick. If you need a good J-Roller, you can give us a call or check out the links and the information below this video. But as you can tell, we think J-Rolling is very important. Next, the upper corners are positioned with a little sealant behind them just before we apply the side flashing. We do apply sealant behind the upper corners simply because of the amount of water that can build up at the top of a window. Notice that B has applied two horizontal slices and rolled the protectile wrap into the rough opening so that it looks just like this. On the left side, we've held the protectile wrap back to where it's flush with the trimmer. To me, it doesn't matter which way you want to do it. Either way is just fine. You can roll your protectile wrap into the rough opening or hold it flush to the outside. This is a horseshoe shim that we've snipped so that it will fit nicely underneath the window. What up he's doing is marking a position three inches on the right and left of the lower nail fin. And this will be areas where we will not apply sealant. Now we're using a high quality polyurethane sealant. We're going to put a nice plump bead of sealant toward the outboard edge of the nail fin to ensure that we have squeeze out around all points on the window. This is how a properly applied sealant bead should look. Notice the gaps in the sealant in the lower right and left. And when your sealant is correctly applied, you'll see squeeze out that should look just like this. Now we apply the top flashing J roll of the material flat. And you'll see us with two different strategies on this window. On the right, we're going to use a buttered sealant method. Epi has radiused his putty knife so that the sealant kicks up nicely against the window. And he butters his sealant nice and flat so it should look just like this. This is a great way of sealing a window. We received a lot of phone calls from people that want to apply a waterproof membrane on top of their nail fin. And if this is the way that you would like to flash your windows, then this is how we would do it. Tool off your excess sealant, cover your screws with it, then apply your peel and stick membrane on top of the nail fin, J roller it nice and flat, and then at the edge of your nail fin against the window, you're going to apply a bead of sealant just in case you have wrinkles that will stop any water from getting in behind your waterproof membrane, just like Epi is doing here. It's worth noting that if this is the way you want to flash your windows, then you should apply the side flashing before the top flashing is applied. Epi tools is sealant in such a way that we do not obstruct the paths of least resistance at the lower nail fins. This is where water will escape should it get trapped in our system. Now to terminate the inside of our pan, Epi is applying sealant all the way across the bottom of the window and six to eight inches up each side. You'll see here is a clear plastic piece, 90 degree plastic. This is one way to seal the inside. He is pressing that into the wet sealant and it finishes off looking just like this. This does a great job of pressing the sealant underneath the window and creating a very nice finished look. The other way, is to simply tool the sealant with your finger. In any event, the inside of your window should look just like this.